In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use professional drum grooves offered by companies such as Get Good Drums or Toontrack and convert them so you can use them on your beat buddy. Let's dive into it. I'm going to start with a free MIDI drum groove pack offered by Get Good Drums. And later on, I'm going to um, show you how to use Toontrack Easy Drummer drum grooves with your beat buddy. But let's start with Get Good Drums. You go to getgooddrums.com and download, for example, Here's like Free Grooves Volume 1, Volume 2. Just start with downloading Free Grooves Volume 1. The next thing you need to do is download the BeatBuddy Manager. Just go to the Singular Sound website and to the BeatBuddy product page and scroll to the bottom and where it says BeatBuddy Manager Software. There you can download the software for either macOS or Windows. After you've installed the BeatBuddy Manager, um, you can power on your BeatBuddy with the power supply and then connect your USB, USB cable going to your computer. It's important to first connect the power supply and then add the USB cable. If you open up the BeatBuddy manager for the first time, there are going to be some additional steps um, which are needed to initially set up the BeatBuddy to work well with the BeatBuddy manager, but it shouldn't be a problem. It's pretty straightforward. If you have any problems or questions, just check the manual of the BeatBuddy. It's documented very well. So after you've successfully connected your BeatBuddy to your BeatBuddy manager, on the left side, you can see all the songs and the drum sets that are currently stored on the BeatBuddy. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to create a folder and a song inside of this folder. Um, there are no limits. You can do whatever you want. You can use the grooves to create your custom songs, um, choose which fills you want in the song, have different sections. No limits at all. You can do anything you want with the BeatBuddy and custom MIDI files. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to create a new folder called Demo. And then inside this folder, you can create a new song. Again, you can do anything you want. This is just for the purpose of the video. After that, you can, if you understand it, you can do anything with the beat body and any MIDI file. Um, yeah, um, let's call this new song. And as you can see, for example, the, the, the stock things that are on the beat body, for example, the metal folder has a metal one song, and that's how it's um, structured. You have your grooves, then you have the fills, transition fills, accent hits, that's all stuff that might be covered in the manual. For this, for this video, I'm just going to show you how to use custom MIDI files. Everything else is very well documented by Singular Sound. So in this new song, we want to use a Get Good Drums groove that we just downloaded for free. So here comes the important part. If you have drum grooves from, for example, Get Good Drums or Toontrack, or you program custom drum grooves inside another drum library and want to use it on your beat body, you need to map the notes so every drum element, for example, the kick, the snare, the hi-hat, matches those the beat body uses for those elements. And for this purpose, we need to use midiremap.com to convert the MIDI files we want to use on the beat body to the singular sound beat body MIDI mapping. And midiremap.com has a custom mapping for the beat body. The first thing we want to do is either choose a single MIDI file or if you have a MIDI Remap Pro subscription, you can choose a whole zip folder containing all your files and you can convert them once in a batch and you're good forever. So I'm going to start and show you how to do it with one file. I'm going to use song 10, Groove 4 by Get Good Drums by the free pack we just downloaded. As source, I need to choose Get Good Drums Groove Player MIDI Pack format. And as target, I'm going to use the Beat Body by Singular Sound preset. MIDI Remap then shows you all the drum parts that cannot be mapped to an exact drum part on the Beat Body, but it automatically creates intelligent fallbacks. You probably won't have to worry about it. For example, the Beat Body doesn't have a China sound, so it's going to use the splash sound of the Beat Body. Um, or, for example, um, the beat body doesn't have floor tom 2, so it's going to use the floor tom 1. You might never need to adjust those mappings, but you can always adjust those mappings. Maybe the get good drums ghost notes on the snare are too too loud on the beat body, then you can simply search for the snare 
and then say, okay, every snare hit on the beat body is too loud. Please just take down the velocity by either 10 in MIDI value or like make all snare hits 10% less on the beat body. Then if you're ready or if you just want to use the default preset, click on convert and that's going to convert your Get Good Drums MIDI file so it matches the mapping of the beat body. Download your converted MIDI file and then go back to your beat body manager. You can simply drag and drop the converted MIDI file to the beat body manager and in the top you can choose a drum set you want to use to preview this file. You might also want to set the default tempo it's going to play back. It doesn't matter which tempo you set. MIDI files can be pitched up or down in tempo, but this file in particular is was recorded with 93 BPM. Um, the Get Good Drums folder also tells you that in the name. To preview this file, how it's going to sound with the rock kit on the beat body, you can use the big play button or the small play button next to the MIDI file. That sounds pretty sick, I think. And you can now go on and create another part for the song by clicking the small plus button and then um, convert another MIDI file and drag it here so you have different parts on your beat body for songs. You can do the same thing with drum fills per part and so on, you get the idea. And for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use uh, a Toondrag Easy Drummer Groove. You might have purchased on the Toondrag website or if you already have Easy Drummer and you wanna use one of the stock grooves, just open your Easy Drummer and then you can go to the browser. Um, for example, I purchased the Basic Rock pack and for example, let's use something mid tempo like a chorus and listen to it. Okay, so, so if I now want to use this drum groove on my beat body, I need to track the groove anywhere on my computer so I get a MIDI file of it. And then same as before, I'm gonna go to midiremap.com, choose my MIDI file. So this time I'm gonna choose Toontrack Easy Drummer as my source. And as before, BeatBuddy as my target. I'm gonna load those presets. Again, I can see the BeatBuddy doesn't have a crash joke sound or crash mute sound, so it's simply gonna play a ringing crash, a normal crash without a muting. Um, also, for example, it doesn't have a rim shot sound for the Floor Tom 1, whereas Easy Drummer Grooves might have those. It's simply gonna play Floor Tom 1. Converting. And again, I'm gonna drop the converted file into the BeatBuddy manager. I'm gonna rename this first. It's like Easy Drummer. Um, so it's easier to understand what's happening. And then I'm gonna listen to it. Yeah, sounds great. So now we have a custom song on our BeatBuddy, currently existing of a Get Good Drums, part and then uh, an easy drummer drum groove part. So once you're happy with your editing and your ready song, um, you simply need to synchronize your editing with the beat buddy hardware device. File, synchronize project and say yes. Now let's check out the beat buddy. If we open up our folders and there we see our demo we just created the new song. And now we can play the just transferred MIDI grooves from Get Good Drums and Easy Drummer just with our foot. And as you're used to transition between the parts. Yeah, it's awesome. Works flawless. If you understand the basic idea how to do this, um, the possibilities are endless. You can use any programmed MIDI drums you have from any vendor or use custom programmed stuff and convert it um, with MIDI Remap. You can create custom mappings and just convert them to the beat buddy. Some of you might now say, why do I need MIDI Remap? Why can't I just directly drag and drop Easy Drummer grooves or stuff like that to um, the beat buddy manager? And 
The problem with that is that, as you already saw, some parts won't exist in a beat body, and so maybe you don't have a China sound, but the, the, the drum groove uses a China, so you simply get no sound. Or, depending on the library mapping, mm, you might not hear the kick, or you might not hear hi-hat, or you might not hear a tom, which doesn't exist on a beat body. So always make sure that if you want to use drum grooves from get good drums, tune drag, or whomever, um, that you use MIDI remap and convert them first to the beat body MIDI mapping. <laughs> 